Hi, this is a message for Pisces. You can look in your chart and see what placements you have in Pisces. Also, um, what house Pisces is in to see how it's going to apply to you. Um, sorry, I was trying to fix my camera. Okay, so <clears throat> I pulled three cards from the Alchemical Visions deck to see what the overall energy is for the reading. And I got the Knight of Coins. You could be dealing with an earth sign, but in this deck, this Knight of Coin represents um, progress. Um, you can see he's holding the coin, and above the coin, there's like this, the phoenix that's rising from the ashes. What this basically is saying that a misstep can lead to getting burned, but it says, do not be afraid of the fire. Do not be afraid of getting burned um, on your journey. Um, and I'm seeing with this, the next first card I got is seven of wands. Um, there's actually a lot of victories that you're going to have. Um, in this reading is what I'm seeing. There's going to be a lot of give and take. I feel like your money is going to be successful. I feel a lot of, this could be relationship or money. I'm seeing both. But this also indicates that there are, it says there are charlatans to be aware of. So, but it, but again, there's this need to not fear. And so that's kind of the overall, what I'm getting as far as the underlying energy. But um, I'll go ahead and get some Oracle cards and see exactly what's coming out. Just so you know, if you are interested in getting a personal reading, um, my link is down below or you can email me. Also, if you uh, want to see collective daily readings, I do them on TikTok. And that's down below as well as I do have another YouTube channel. If you're interested in like uh, consciousness other realities like other realms or dimensions and things of that nature uh, you can go to that channel sorry it's really bright out here um you can go to that channel too and that links down below as well so let me see what else we've got going for you okay so this is interesting um the first card i got is cunning woman and this basically is a message that to be silent, not take an action yet, but be silent and observe um, before you take your next step. This is interesting because um, the next card I got is Burning Hero. And, you know, in that first overall card, it was the Phoenix rising was on that and the phoenix rises from the ashes after being burned um and this says i'm going to read this one to you it says from the transformative fires of life's tests you emerge now stronger in self-belief overcoming self-doubt and fear shedding the layers that have held you back from burning as a naked flame of divine love can you perceive the coolness fast approaching to soothe your fiery well where fire weary soul peace is coming to you now and a respite from the fire before you are ready to burn into love again. The intensity of fire in a relationship to cool serenity. Oh, the intensity of fire exists in relationship to cool serenity. And you are capable of experiencing both. Your inner fire has pushed you forward and your creative self-expression will manifest into the most beautiful forms. This is assured you burn bright now and yet it will be cooling of your soul embers that replenishes you and inspires you to new creative paths and heights and in due time. This oracle brings you a message from the heat of your labor, sweet success will arise and you can act now as if the success has already been made manifest. It is only a matter of time before it is so. From that success, new levels of experience and creative manifestation will take place. You are in a powerful creative cycle of intensity and serenity dancing with each other through the heart like the sweet relationship of day and night this cycle yields great harvest offer yourself in contribution to the greater good and your harvest will not only be earthly delight but of heavenly blessings too 
Okay, so this is interesting. So what I am getting from you, because I've got transgression and then thirst reversed. And so what I'm getting is that you are feeling a lot of guilt for something that you've done over and over again. Um, and you're having a hard time forgiving yourself. So it's like now um, you could be getting consequences for something. Um, but basically this is saying that you need to be true to yourself. Um, not acting on compulsion, but it says if you need to say sorry to someone, say sorry to someone, but then you need to forgive yourself. Because what's happening is you're being told you're guilty over and over again by either other people or by yourself. But specifically, this message is about forgiving yourself for something. Yeah. And I feel like I'm, I'm seeing that because there's like this, like this, you have like this, um, Craving, thirst, compulsiveness within you, and maybe something triggered it, it came up, and then you start guilting yourself immediately. And so what this is saying is that you just need to acknowledge it, say sorry where you need to, and forgive yourself, and then you won't have that compulsion as much. Like, it kind of relieves it. Okay, so there's a couple other things I'm getting too. Um, with this cunning woman, I feel like maybe you have a hard, hard time trusting people, other people. And the reason why is because you of this craving compulsion within yourself. And so you naturally think that or believe that other people have some kind of ulterior motive because you actually have an ulterior motive yourself. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that this reading is about you overcoming that. It's about the Phoenix rising. It's about you burning off that compulsion. Um, cause the next card you got is tiger spirit rises. Let me read you the paragraph, the summary here for this Tiger Spirit Rises. It says, we bring you the gift of Tiger Spirit Rising. You are being empowered with the truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what opinion and logic can contain. It needs to be free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, your divine fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love. To refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed loving heart be free. You, your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to break away from systems based in control and fear. As your tiger, tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the tiger in others to rise above conditioning as they were as they discover the wild divine spirit being they are in truth. I feel like you have this rebellion in you and you've been in a way it's like you kind of suppress it but by doing that it it turns out in ways that you're not like particularly maybe proud of and so what this is saying is now you're going to befriend that part and channel it into a productive and beneficial part of your life in this world. Okay, it's funny the way that your energy showed up when I pulled for the, um, how your, your energy and then who you may be dealing with is you got the tiger spirit, <laughs> but it's reversed. And this is basically someone who's overstimulated. Um, it's an energy, it's a feminine energy, like a dark feminine energy, but when it's reversed, it's like over -stim stimulated. So it can be very like sexual. Um, but you also got, you got a few hit these, uh, you got the wolf and the wolf is like the guardian of the family, the tribe. They're like the leader. Um, 
but they can be sometimes kind of, kind of controlling because that's the mothering energy where they want everyone to follow suit and do what they say or how they think is best. It also um, is a fearless energy. And I, you got the hawk. I believe that there is, you're either um, seeing a bigger picture or you're observing someone because I also got that observing energy. Um, you're trying to listen to your intuition. You're being very intuitive. And then the last one you got is the bear. So you were waking up. This means that you were in a spiritual slumber and you're waking up. You're that rising phoenix. Again, that's what I'm getting. Um, you have like this inner strength. You want to grow. It's like all of a sudden you want to become. Um, now as far as the other person that you're dealing with. They are showing up as this owl energy. So the owl energy is um, a clairvoyant energy. They can see and know. They can see beyond. It's like knowing psychic type of energy. Um, however, they are showing up with the swan in reverse. So this means they can get like uh, easily agitated. Or it's like they're not in their full power. And I'm getting, they have this golden egg. This is a heart chakra, and it's reversed as well, but this wants to basically be born. Um, it's showing up like, it's almost like they need some kind of security or loving, because what I'm seeing is that you showing up with this energy might be what they are looking for type of thing. And then remember too that even though I talk about it like, you know, it's two different people or whatever, these energies can exist within you. Also, it can be vice versa. So this can be someone you're dealing with or, or yourself. Okay, so the way this is unfolding is exactly how I was basically seeing it. Okay, so in the center, you got the lover. Okay, um, I'm really seeing that either you or someone that you're dealing with is making it could be making this love offer it could be it doesn't necessarily have to be love it could be just an offer for it could be business it could be something new um student wise but there's communication here and movement here that's crossing it so this is like happening now um or about to if it hasn't happened just quite yet Okay, this is super interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, by the way, there's Earth there. I've got Capricorn and Aries and water in the subconscious. But you've got the threshold. So you're about to cross a threshold. Okay. Now, what I'm showing here is that the three cards popped up. I got the Emperor, the Devil, and the Knight of Cups. So this is interesting. They put the Knight of Cups as the Lotus, which raise, rises from the mud, okay? So I'm feeling like you were not successful in some area of your life, okay? And you're rising into power. Um, so this could be power in a relationship or a business. But what's what I'm seeing here, though, is I am seeing this power and control and with the devil here, I'm feeling like that you might overexert control in some way because I've got more controlling cards up here too. I'll show you. Um, but it's to protect. Like there's a lot of protection energy there. Protect what you have found, what you have received, because you don't want to lose it. But what you don't realize that is that that is the, the fear of losing it will keep you trapped. And so that's something that you're going to need to realize or learn or experience. Oh, the, I just noticed the Wheel of Fortune is on the bottom of the deck too. Like this is a real big change turning point in your life. In the past, it looks like that you were healing or resting. Um, this mask was on because I feel like there's, there was something lying dormant in you. Like I said, there's this power lying dormant in you that's coming up. Um, there is a lot of power in this reading. Okay, so above you. 
Okay. I feel like whatever this is, you're constantly thinking about it. You might be a little obsessive. Um, I've got the mother and the temple. The temple is about where your thoughts are, what you're thinking about. So I feel like this is where your thoughts are. It represents like worship almost, um, which is basically I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about it. Okay. And the mother is like, I got to protect it. See how it's all wrapped up. Okay. Um, but this is basically saying, take it slow and steady. One step at a time. Um, and, but I feel like you're moving towards this. Okay. So in your immediate future, um, I've got Aquarius energy here now. Um, but I've got the warrior and the star. So this is like, you're picking your star, you're picking your destiny and you are absolutely devoted to it, like committed to it. You're like, this is what mine, this is what I'm going for. This is what I want. The d warrior would basically give up their life for their loyal, like rather than be disloyal. Um, however, you could have, a tendency to smother it okay and the reason why I say that is because um, you've lost opportunities or been rejected in the past and so you're afraid of losing it but you don't want to smother it because you want it to grow okay don't trap a bird okay so that's what I'm saying don't trap it um, it's basically like, I feel like you need to give it its freedom to choose you. Now, in your advice, I'm going to probably get another card, but you've got the King of Wands, which the King of Wands is in power when it's upright. And so this is like you taking action, realizing your own power and moving towards it. You, This is a, someone who has... Uh, people who follow them in a way. The other thing is, is it basically says to be a magnet. Don't be, don't overwork it and don't be apathetic, but use your charm. <laughs> it's like almost like um, having, being a visionary, making clear decisions um, and being very magnetic towards what you want okay and around you it looks like there might be um someone um a little bit afraid of taking a risk or you're taking you're afraid of taking this risk but i'm seeing that you do or they do okay um with the king of swords the king of swords picks the star stabs the star and sews it on its dress it's like it's mine and this also represents something that's going to grow it's very passionate uh, so if it's a relationship, this is a super passionate relationship. Or if it is a project or a work or something, it's super passionate. Also could be dealing with an air sign or fire sign. Your fear. Because I feel like you're the one making this offer. Unless, of course, this whole reading is reversed. But your fear is um, lack of reciprocity or like they won't want you back basically or they won't love you back they won't see you back um you're also afraid of doing making the offer <laughs> i feel like there might be some people around you that disagree or there's some people that will be disappointed because um the outcome i got the king of wands i think it was reversed but it was kind of flipped weird but this is basically saying don't get discouraged because there's ups and downs in even the happiest times, which the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Um, this is Leo energy. And this is basically saying, do go, do go to the beat of your own drum. Don't be a follower, a crowd follower. Don't be influenced by what other people want you to do. There is someone around you also that's like, well, I'll be in a relationship if this, and it goes against your integrity. Do not... Give up your integrity to be in a relationship or contract or job. If it is something important to you, you need to follow your own, your own self and know that even if you have to pass it up, that something better will come that doesn't um, interfere with 
your who you are and your own integrity. Okay, so yeah, I am seeing that you're going to have success and this is going to be super passionate with what it is you're pursuing. However, this is saying don't decide just yet. Be slow, take time and take a step back because you need to do some self-reflection. There are some habits that you have or things that distract you that you need to burn off before you can actually pursue this. It's like you have to make this decision to burn those things off out of your life, whatever that is. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Um, leave your comments down below. Um, I appreciate any likes too, because that helps the video get out to more people. And subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.